So this week's topic of Amuna Mondays was author your own story. And before we begin, the class is dedicated to a couple names. Uh, it's in honor of Lule Nishmat for Yosef Ben Devora, Gabriel Masauda Bat Sara, and Yosef Meir Ben Avram Shmuel. May all their Nishmot have the ultimate, ultimate Aliyah, as well as a Rafua Shalema for Eliezer Ben Miriam Rezo. May the person have a speedy, immediate, full recovery. So the topic of authoring your own story. The reason I chose this topic was last week on my way to the car, I was speaking with um, one of the people that came to the class and he was asking along the lines of, do we really have free will? And I answered, of course we do. And he's like, but if everything's like known, then where's the aspect of free will? So I said, it really depends on the way you look at it. If you choose to see it as it's known, like prior, like everything's already set up, everything's already set in stone, then you're right. But I refuse to think that that's the interpretation of everything's known. Everything no, everything's known from the, from the angle of, and I gave the example of a person that's writing a book. Like, are, are you in the class? You're in the class and you're, you're writing a, an assignment and the teacher comes by and is overlooking it. Just looking over your shoulders and you can see everything you're writing. And then just carries on to the next person and can see everything they're writing. But now amplify that because imagine the person over, over looking over your shoulders was, a pers- was something or someone that knew everything about you. Knew all the feelings that you, you're holding inside. Knew all the things that you're, you know, that you've gone through. Mentally and physically and, and spiritually. And now as you're writing, the person or thing can already tell what you're doing. Can already anticipate the result slash what your final decision is going to be because they have all this prior knowledge. It's kind of like a best friend when you're speaking. Can awfully, often times they can finish your sentence for you. What, do they know what you're going to say? No, they know you so well. They saw where you're going, the path you're going on. It makes sense that you're going to go this way. And they can kind of, you know, anticipate it. So it's the same thing, even more so, because it's Hashem. And when it's Hashem, he's, you're writing your story. Like, God forbid, if somebody chooses to run a red light, they're obviously thinking about it. And it's like, okay, I want to wholeheartedly run this red light. Hashem is now seeing that and everything now is getting adjusted to you running this red light, whether it's you getting a ticket, whether God forbid it's an accident being caused, whether it's somebody slamming their brakes and almost getting into an accident. It's all occurring right in the moment. And it's that concept of the world is recreated in every second. Why? Because every second somebody can or somebody or something can make a decision. Like we can all make a decision. That can completely change everything. Our whole life can change from a simple yes or no. Simple yes or no question. A whole life can change. Or a quick act of something. And when you understand that, one, you value life significantly more because you can grasp every single moment and it can change at any point. doesn't matter how negative or how bad you feel your life or your day is going. It can change at any point. And it always starts with you. Or you can sit there and look at it from this massive picture and be like, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't, you know, my life is going, um, it isn't going so well, but you know what? It's going to be okay. This, that. Again, either way you choose to see it, it starts with you. It's, it's, it's your perception. So understanding that you're writing your own story. And because you're writing your own story, you're, you, you have full author's privilege. You can do whatever you want with it. You want to become a millionaire? Go become a millionaire. You want to become homeless? Go become homeless. Hashem's not stopping you. Only very, very rarely does Hashem intervene. And Hashem will intervene when there's a bigger picture at at hand. Because again, Hashem is seeing everybody's stories, what everybody is writing. We see what we're writing. I might be able to, you know, to overlook and, you know, get a little peek over and see, oh, my best friend's writing this story. Oh, my mom's writing this story. Occasionally. But even then, you're not getting a proper image of the, you're not getting a proper vision of the story. Hashem is seeing everything this person's writing, everything a person 6,000 miles away is writing. And somehow, 
is handling the fact of uniting all of them together. All of them need to blend together. All these stories need to come together. Every person that you've walked or bumped into or seen or have overheard something, Hashem has united every single one of those stories together as they're being written. And so when you understand that, that's what people mean when Hashem has, or that's what the Torah means when Hashem has all the knowledge. Hashem has everything. You're not fooling God. You're not going to catch him by surprise. Why? Because he's also anticipating your next move because he's seeing everything you're doing now. It's like if you're going down this path, like a parent can oftentimes foresee a, a, one of their, you know, their child's future. If the kid is growing up drugs, alcohol, this, that, that, he can probably anticipate, the parent is anticipating they're not going to end up so well in life. Is that true though? No. You know, they can shape it up at any point. They can switch it up at any point. But they're basing it off of everything that they know as a parent and this and this and the experience. They're going with this. God has all the experience, all of the knowledge, not just oh, what they see on Instagram, what they see on social media, what they see when they hang out with you. And he sees everything. So when he's anticipating or what he has a pretty good, he has a pretty good idea of where things are heading. And oftentimes we'll see what we, what many will call like manipulation but it's not really manipulation it's at the end of the day it's your choice god knows what's going to grab your attention he knows but he's not going to cause it to just boom right there he might have it walk right by you and it's your thing to, it's up to you to see do i want to react am i going to ignore this person going right by me or am i going to go over and say hi or am i going to go and rekindle something what that's your choice hashem put it in front of you though Shem's orchestrating the whole thing. Again, it comes down to the free will aspect of if you want to ever take that leap, you want to take the step. That's on you. And when you understand and operate life like that, you're not going to just blame God for things. Rather, you're going to take accountability for where you went wrong or where you um, like took turns. And because of that, you have to also understand the fact that life is literally like a GPS system. There is no wrong turns. You know, the GPS will simply say, make a right. You can say, screw that, I'm not making a right, and go straight. The GPS doesn't get mad at you and shut off. All right, rerouting. In a, in, in, in a thousand feet, may, make a U-turn. You want to say no to that? Go ahead, that's fine. The machine is still going to go. The, 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 the GPS is still going to rerouting. All The only thing that's really di- changing is the journey. The journey. It's going to take a little longer. You might have to stop at a couple more rest stops because you made a couple wrong turns and you took too much gas. Again, that's all based on you. And regardless of it, none of them are wrong turns. Because if you choose to not hit the, go, hit, hit the first turn and miss it, your life's not over. You're still going to get to your destination. It's just going to take you a little bit longer, a little bit more work. You might be frustrated. Those are all normal things, but also understand that's not God. God's not the one, you know, putting those feelings into you. He's not causing you to do those things. Those are your choices. But a lot of people don't want to take accountability for the actions and roles that they played. And that's important to understand that you are authoring your own story. Hashem is simply your editor, you know, and you can write in the most amazing book. You're not publishing it. It's not getting published. If you don't have the proper edits, you're having a lot of spelling errors. You have a lot of grammar mistakes. Let it edit. Let, let somebody edit. You're going to send it to an editor. They're going to edit it by, by still maintaining all the, the value in the story. But you know what? Maybe fluff it up here. Maybe, you know, hey, you, you, you missed a comma. Or it's very difficult to understand this. But let, let, let me edit it. That's all it is. Hashem's not, not controlling your entire life. He gave us all free will. And we all make decisions that don't align with God's. A lot of times. A lot of times people and... and, and and, and beings in this world don't align with things that God has intended. But you know what? Life still goes on. Why? Because that's Hashem gave us the power and the free will to do so. So with that, Lulei Nishmat for Yosef ben Devora, Gabriel Masaud Abat Sara, and Yosef Meir ben Avram Shmuel. May all their Shemot have the ultimate, ultimate Aliyah. And a Rafu Shalema for Eliezer ben Miriam Rezo. See you all next week.